Yo team, what is going on? The vlog is back. I have not done one since Dubai. And I'm going to make sure that I actually do one or two a month just because it helps answer all the frequently asked questions that people ask me. Um, and it just makes it a bit easier to put more down because you've got more time. So um, on today's vlog, we're going to be going through some updates where I am at the moment, how I'm looking and what the plans are moving forward. And I'll maybe take you through a little bit of a leg day. So enjoy, have a good day. It's a lovely day here in Dundee and I will speak to you later. The last vlog I done was Dubai and uh, after Dubai I came back and I done a, like a rapid fat loss phase to try and regain my appetite. So I went from 98 kilos to 90, um, which is a big drop in body weight, but you've got to take into all the accounts of that, like water weight, um, just my calories being a lot lower. But the issue was when I hit there, appetite still wasn't firing, but I tried to push back up. Now, in hindsight, I should have probably just kept pushing down for another couple of kilos. At 90 kilos, I'm leaner than 98, obviously, but I'm not lean. So what the idea here is, um, to try and regain my appetite, I'm going to just pull down to a spot where visually I'm lean or leaner because that's going to really help with me getting my appetite back so for me that's normally where the midsection starts to come through a bit more um like my my quads and that stay fairly lean through my off season anyway so once I do that that will then put me in the best in a perfect position to then start pushing back up from there the other change is I am going to be moving from men's physique to classic now for me the, the main reasons are I just find with men's physique posing, I could never find poses that really suited me properly. Like, my abs aren't super strong. Um, in classic, although the poses are a lot harder, there's more of them, um, I find them a little bit smoother for my physique. I, I find that I can hold them a little bit better. I can get into the position a bit more. Now, obviously, I need to work on them a lot because I've only just started, but they do feel a little bit more comfortable. So that's the main reason there. With the changes, um, not much will change. I just need to put in a little bit more leg volume because obviously it's been so low from looking to train what is on show when you're doing men's physique. So that's slightly changing the programme, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I might not be looking forward to it when I have to actually be able to hold poses rather than just, uh, or sorry, go through runs of poses, but um, the main focus is just to get the appetite back, push up for the rest of the year, see what I can build, and then go from there. There's no exact plans in place for when I compete because you compete when you're ready, um, but it's a big change. It's something I'm looking forward to, and you can see me try to pose here, or how I'm looking, sorry, here. You can also see me really, really out of breath because it's fucking hard. I've just finished my steps, now I am away to go, oh my beard looks funny, I need a beard trim, Remy, sort that out. Um, I've just finished my steps, I'm away to go grab my breakfast and pre-workout meal and then head down to the gym and do a slightly adapted leg session just because my knee has given me a little bit of jip after a poor rep on the hack squat two weeks ago, which happens. I also have to hit some delts just because I missed them the other day just because something came up at the end of the session. So, you can catch me in the gym, you can see me put my Vibrams on, which will freak you all out because I know you hate to toe shoes. And then you'll see me probably die on the pendulum. Shine. I'll never be sad. It's a free for all. Let's go. 
Yeah, no, it's about me, I got mine. We can talk, I'm reasonable. I rap on these beats, I glide. She just wanna get loose and vibe. Got her back in her back, take time. Turn the lights off, and it's too shine. The few movements, cause Vaughn, the big tatty, has broke a lion hamstring curl. So, I did the doctor's lion hamstring curl, which I didn't video because the lighting is wank. I then hit a, a lat raise movement and a leg press. Now, the leg press, I'm gonna add back in um, on the second leg day just because I do really miss using one. I think such an effective movement. Um, the only issue was my knee was giving me a little bit of strain on my higher rep set, but I'll keep them in banded because that leg press is quite light, but it moves quite well for me. Now I'm going to the unit hit the rest of the stuff it's fucking warm yes i'm wearing a hoodie i'm sweating i'm out of breath i might die bye yeah now i'm in ny big visa i know esther ask gang i'm a big investor go fast you at the front like leicester jamie big chef's no oliver gordon if you're wondering why the leg extension i'm doing single and it looks quite light it's because i'm doing high reps single leg because i actually think it's what's giving us giving me knee pain sorry it's not the best leg extension, there's no drop off at the top, so it's really hard to get the shortened range. So we are looking at a different one, but I'm basically just using it to get blood in the muscle. Um, I was using two legs and going fairly heavy, but it was just shit, so that is why you've got to use what you've got. When he's on a go with a Ramsey, get a wish and a cool man panty, can't say no when he try fling panty. My girl come on box man's head top, I ain't trying to go back home to a pass off. Big pocket, send a you nass off, don't believe him, he's a well known gas off. The bros cooked in front of the fiends have vaps, I didn't use no raps. No saves, we back, just taps, and the young G's on the ridge back few laps. I'm from the left of the blood block compass, from the west side of the LON map. See me in the flesh, you ain't getting no dap. If you upset Dan or these sevs get wrapped. Ask A jewelers, I never try cheap out. Firstly, you might be wondering why has he got his hat on like Daffy? Well, first of all, why not? And second of all, I like it, so deal with it. With the leg chain in there, you can kind of see that I'm having to chain a little bit differently than I normally would, so I'm going higher rep ranges because obviously less load, and I'm still kind of keeping it reps in reserve. Now, that's just because I've got a few niggles, which can happen and um, sometimes you're really lucky sometimes you aren't but that's where being smart with it is very important the amount of times i see people try to push through that you make it worse then they can't train for longer so remember that next thing can you get lean while eating ice cream well salero was amazing and it's 100 calories well it's 98 calories if you've been really technical now do i eat this every day absolutely not but Something I want to speak about. If it fits your macros, in my opinion, it's not great because people have no structure to their eating habits. But for me, the way I set my nutrition up, it's very structured. I eat roughly the same amount of meals a day, same times. But if I want to eat something like this, or perhaps a twister, I'll do it. Now, my calories are still fairly high at the moment. If you're a bikini girl on low food, sorry to tell you, it's not going to be a good idea. But this is something that I think people really don't understand. So keep that structure, keep the routine, but you can go outside of it. Now, I'm not dieting for a show at the moment. I'm just dieting to get a bit leaner. If I was dieting for a show, this is 100 calories that probably isn't the best spent. So you've got to be selective with what you're doing. Also, if you're someone who isn't the best with adherence, definitely don't fucking do it. Anyway, I may enjoy this sitting in my summer house. Peace out. Speak to you next time.